Mola ibn Ignacy or Rush now by H. Mol. Molar pregnancy. What I mean by molar pregnancy? Yes, we know that we have two types of molar pregnancy. One is partial mol, and the other is complete mol. What I mean by partial mol? Partial mol mean normal oocytes fertilization by two sperm, but complete mol mean empty oocyte. Fertilization either by single or two spare. This molar pregnancy will result in first partial. Partial, we know that oocyte is normally 23 chrom chromosome. We add to it 23 for first sperm and one, two, three for second sperm, so the result will be 69 chromosome. This is abnormal chromosome. For complete mole, MBTOO site means zero fertilization either by single sperm, 23 will result in. 46, but this vertex is result from division of 23 or MBT fertilization by 23 to first sperm and 23 for second sperm and result also by 46 chromosome. This is abnormal pregnancy regarding the type of chromosome either X or Y chromosome first. So now what difference between partial and complete? In partial there is fetus, but the fetus have a clear congenital anomaly and chromosomal abnormality. But in complete mole, no, there is no fetal, no blood vessel, you no see anything in it. The symptom. What's the symptom that bring the mother to you? First. The symptom either in catabol nausea and vomiting, vaginal bleeding. When it come to vaginal bleeding, we, we will either suspect H. mol or ectopic pregnancy or above them abortion, which is most common. Miss abortion. Third. Pain, severe pain, from or come from the luteal cysts. Other complications like hypertension, hyperthyroidism, anemia, severe anemia. This is all come with molar pregnancy. Second, you will exam here. On examination, you Found the uterus is large than gestational age. For example, she is 10 weeks, you will find it 24 or more. You may suspect a twin pregnancy, but you will exclude first by ultrasound. You will then ultrasound, who will clear to you or show you this grab, this clear grab, this physical that will found in the uterus. You also may do beta SCG, but it's not clear differentiate molar pregnancy from other type of like twin pregnancy so, or anything that will elevate beta SCG level. So ultrasound is the diagnosis and the best. How you manage? How you manage patient coming with molar pregnancy regarding the type? Yes. You will end the pregnancy. How will we end this pregnancy? First, either suction cortege. Second, medical like oxytocin. But oxytocin is poor because it may cause 
metastasis to the lung or vein because it's short, it need long time to act, it's poor response. Second is prostaglandin is the best in this case, special in partial mole treatment is the best choice. Hell, is the treatment aid here? No. And last option for us is hysterectomy. Hysterectomy is only done for the women in their 50 years old or in the menopause, women who had uh, who, ha who had complete hair family. So hysterectomy is our last option. Why we do hysterectomy? Hysterectomy do because because of of malignancy in H mole pregnancy. In molar pregnancy, the follow up is follow up is more important. Follow up. You must follow up the patient for two years because of risk of choriocarcinoma that form from molar pregnancy. If how we follow up, we do beta SCG titer in interval time equal to four to six week until clear there is no elevation in beta SCG we advise the mother to not become pregnant in this year first is contraceptable we prefer isradol low dose 30 nanogram to be used we not prefer inter IUCD Interuterine contraceptive device because of risk of bleeding and perforation to uterus. After this two year and there is no any complication, no risk of malignancy. We advise the mother to beca become pregnancy. Risk of malignancy after this follow up after clear is very 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 rare, so you must not afraid from it.